Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Kilgore, and this is my project advertisement for building a new silk run time. If you took 6172, then I'm sure you're incredibly familiar by now with what silk as a language and parallelism to can do. This project, however, won't really be touching on that. Instead, we're going to be working on the underlying code that makes silk work. So the way the runtime as it's code works at a very high level is that it manages a bunch of threads which we know as workers. The way the workers operate is that they break their whole stack into a bunch of smaller chunks with the dividing points being spawns. It would look something like this image here. Now that list of small car stacks is called a spawn deck and that is the key to Silk's work steering system, namely that other workers can steer and resume execution of the top of an editor who spawned yet. This is why Silk runs so well. So, at a high level, that should sound fairly simple to implement. The current runtime, however, which is the Intel Silk Plus runtime, is anything but simple. First off, it is large. How large are we talking about? Well, I'm sure you get the point. It's also very complicated, with a bunch of separate parts all interacting. However, if you want to work on the runtime at all, a lot of these parts won't be relevant at all. And to the average student, they're certainly not relevant. So, with that in mind, it sounds like a great goal to create a new runtime that is simple and hackable. What do I mean by that? I mean it should fulfill these criteria. It should allow for easy testing of new research ideas involving the runtime. It also should make it so that we can and finally teach the runtime in classes like 6172. Although I suppose, for some of you, that might be a strike against this project. If you're looking specifically for reasons in 6898 to do this, in phase two of the project, it may integrate with some of the other projects being proposed, such as the tracer over storage project involving reducers. Now, we're not going to be building a runtime from scratch. We're going to use something called CircM as a base. CircM was another runtime, and it was short. Shorter than the Lighter Dress program that those of us in 6172 came to know oh so well. CircM was originally designed to use a tool technique called Thread Over Memory Mapping which was a way to manage on a per thread basis which physical pages map to regions in virtual memory. However, TLMM does not run anymore. It only runs on an old version of Linux. And in fact, the entire code base has a number of dependencies which were kind of hard to meet now. It doesn't compile anymore on the one computer we have that supports TLMM. So our big face render is to strip out things at TLMM and any other dependencies that don't work and add in the features that they, they no longer have now. If that sounds like your type of project, let me know. If you're not sure, here's some further reading 
for sure is a very high level overview of your London, such a lengthy review to some ideas of the functions in the runtime and the children is the runtime itself for those of you who are feeling very adventurous. I hope you're interested.